In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to break up posts into multiple pages, meaning if you have one long post, you can break it up so it's into four pages. And at the bottom of the post, it says one, two, three, four, and people can click on those to go to the next page in that post. This helps increase the number of page views on your site as long as they want to read the content, which helps with your SEO. You've probably seen a lot of big time sites like BuzzFeed use this technique, and it helps. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so YouTube actually tells you when I publish new stuff. And with that out of the way, let's head in the screen capture and start learning some stuff. I'll see you there. To get pagination working on a post or a page in a lot of themes, doesn't work for every single theme, but in a lot it does. If we head over to posts, and we find one that's long enough to have pagination. I created a simple one. I call it Let's Paginate a Post. I'm just going to click on Edit to show you what it looks like. And it's basically just a title, and then it's a bunch of lorem ipsum text. If we preview this post, or not preview, it's actually published. So if you view what this post looks like, it's just text on a page, like you'd expect a post to be. But if you had a really long post that you wanted to break up into multiple pages, all you have to do is come back into the editor, make sure you're on the text editor, and then wherever you want to add the new page, you got to add an HTML comment, the word next page, and then close the HTML comment. This is what's called an HTML comment or a caret. This is the opening tag for this, is the closing tag. What that means is whatever you type in between the tags will not be visible on the page. But in WordPress, this is a very special tag right here. If we hit over the visual, we see it's inserted this text here called page break. Go back to the text. And that's right here. That's our page break. So if we update this page, head out to the post and refresh it, we see right after the second paragraph, page breaks and we now have two pages. If we click on page two, it takes us to page two. And this is done without a plugin. This is native WordPress functionality. If you wanted to add another one, Say we wanted to add three pages. Just go to where you want to add the next page or the next page break. Paste in that code again. Update, refresh, and now we have three pages. Click on page three and there's going to be one paragraph, just that last paragraph there. And that's how we can paginate a post. And theoretically, this will help your SEO because if someone reads the whole post, they're going to have three page views versus just one page view and Google watches those things. The more page views you have on your site, the better your SEO quite often. And my pagination down here has a little bit of styling because that was built into the theme, that styling. Yours may not look this good, but you can use CSS to make it look better. If you right click on any of these, click on inspect, you can find the classes. Hang on, let me close the responsive one. You can find the classes for these objects so in this case, you'd want to style the CSS ID of page-links and just have page-links space and then you can have the A for the A tag and you can have background colors, you can make the text bigger, you can do all kinds of stuff with the CSS. If you have trouble with it, please leave a comment down below in the comments. If you don't have trouble with it, then it works and that's great. And again, not all themes have this functionality. This is built into WordPress, but they do have to add a custom piece of code somewhere inside the PHP loop to make this work. If they don't have that, you're kind of out of luck with that theme. Or if you're very comfortable with PHP, you can add that in yourself. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you're actually notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.